Hi guys, welcome to Travel Time. Today we're gonna take you on another adventure. Please join us as we take you on a trip to Bryce Canyon National Park. Located in southern Utah, these spire-shaped rock formations, also known as hoodoos, attract millions of visitors every year. At Bryce Canyon, you will walk along the spire-shaped hoodoos and marvel at the masterpieces the forces of nature carved over time. The contrast of crimson-colored hoodoos with the blue skies and green alpine vegetation is breathtaking. Whether you arrive early in the morning for the sunrise or hike all day and try to catch the sunset, there is a lot to explore while visiting the park. Today, we will share a little bit about the different viewpoints and trails. We really hope our video is helpful. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. That way, you will really help us out. The majority of the stops and trailheads at Bryce Canyon will be found along the park's main road called Bryce Canyon Scenic Drive. This road leads you through the many overlooks and gives you a beautiful view of the Bryce Amphitheater, a hoodoo-filled depression lying below the rim. We will start the trip by making a stop at the visitor center at the entrance of the park to get a map. I'll share some information along the 70 miles drive on our way to Rainbow Point, the last overlook on this road. If you're visiting this national park during the summer months, I'll share a tip at the end of this video on how to avoid the summer crowds, so stay tuned. But first, I want to share the different areas of this breathtaking national park. Once you leave the visitor center, you will pass the North Campground entrance and you will be near the longest hike at the park, the Fairyland Loop Trail, an 8 miles long loop. On this trail, you will see the Tower Bridge Rock Formation and the China Wall. If you don't want to hike the entire loop but still want to see some of this trail, you can reach the Tower Bridge by walking 1.5 miles from the trailhead north of the Sunrise Point entrance. But if you do plan to hike this full loop, make sure to bring plenty of water, sunscreen, and a hat since this trail receives full sun. The next stop will be the Sunrise Point Lookout. As the name suggests, this lookout is a great place to see the sunrise. Remember to bring a coat and bring a flashlight since it's extremely dark before the sun rises. Here, you can also find the trailhead to the Queen's Garden Trail, a moderate 1.8 mile trail into the Bryce Amphitheater. You will descend into the floor as you pass through beautiful natural doorways. You will arrive to see the Queen and her court. Since this is an out and back trail, you can go back the same way towards the sunrise point. If you want to walk a little more along the base of the Hoodoos, this trail can connect to the Navajo Loop, creating a 2.9 loop. To complete this hike, you will pass through the Wall Street or two bridges and ascend back to the rim arriving at the Sunset Point. Next stop, Sunset Point Lookout and the entrance of the Navajo Loop Trail. This moderate 1.3 mile hike also descends into the amphitheater. This is my favorite hike. I recommend hiking this trail clockwise. Along the way, you will see Thor's hammer. You will descend the switchback as you pass the two bridges and finish the loop through the narrow Wall Street. If you visit Bryce Canyon in the winter, the Wall Street part of the trail will be closed and you will have to connect the hike to the Queen's Garden Trail and you will ascend to the rim at the Sunrise Point Lookout. This is a beautiful scenic trail where you will pass tunnels and walk through majestic hoodoos. Definitely a must-do at Bryce Canyon. The next lookout will be Inspiration Point, a beautiful area to see the amphitheater from above, followed by the Bryce Point Lookout, another 
spectacular view of the Bryce Amphitheater. From Bryce Point, you can access the Peekaboo Loop Trail, a difficult 5.5 below the rim trail. This trail can connect to the Navajo Loop Trail on the other side of the loop. The combination of the Peekaboo and the Navajo trails is also known as the Figure A Combination Trail at Bryce Canyon. If you do not want to descend to the floor of the amphitheater, connecting the Bryce Point to the Fairyland Point Lookout is the Rim Trail Hiking Path. A paved walkway that allows for beautiful views of the hoodoos below the rim. This path extends for 11 miles, but you can access it at any of the before mentioned viewpoint parking lots. And this path is serviced by the park shuttle that runs from April through October. As you keep driving down the Bryce Canyon Scenic Drive, you will pass other spots such as the Swamp Canyon Lookout. Piracy Point Lookout, Fairview Point Lookout, and Natural Bridge Lookout. Another great stop is the Agua Canyon Lookout. In this overview, you can see a hoodoo named the Hunter. As we continue driving down Bryce Canyon Scenic Drive, the next stops will be Ponderosa Canyon Lookout, Black Bridge Canyon Lookout, followed by the two last lookouts on this road, Uvimpa Point, and Rainbow Point. Rainbow Point is the highest point in Bryce Canyon National Park, sitting at 9,120 feet above sea level. If you want long-range views, these southern viewpoints are definitely worth making the drive all the way to the Rainbow Point Lookout. On a clear day, you can see more than 50 miles from Rainbow Point and Uvimpa Point. If you would like to hike in this area, there is an easy trail called Bristlecone Loop and you can access the trail from both Rainbow Point and Yovimpa Point. Now this last area on our visit to Bryce Canyon is located outside the entrance of the park, but still within the National Park. The Mossy Cave is located at the north end of the park. To reach this area, you will have to drive back to the park entrance and make a right onto the Highway 12, the trailhead will be on the right. If you follow the trail, you will arrive at the Mossy Cave and also at a small waterfall, which is beautiful and if you have the extra time, definitely worth the visit. Now the tip that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. My tip for you is that if you want to beat the crowd during the busy summer months, I recommend driving the Bryce Canyon Scenic Drive backward. Get a map at the visitor center and drive straight to Rainbow Point and make your way back to the entrance of the park as you make your stops. The overlooks are usually a quick stop and that way you will avoid the main crowd since they will be moving along the park in the other direction. Another quick tip if you're traveling with kids, there's also a fun stop outside Bryce Canyon National Park called Old Bryce Town with a few places to grab a snack, some ice cream for the kids, and souvenirs. I went during Thanksgiving and the stores were closed, as you guys can see here on the video, but hopefully next time on my Bryce Canyon, I get to visit some of these stores. I hope you enjoyed our video about Bryce Canyon. If you want to help us out, please subscribe to our channel. Also leave us a comment and let us know if you like our video. I will see you guys on our next trip. Thank you so much for watching Travel Time, please subscribe!